Right guys, now when, when I'm actually uh, doing a highlight on the black, um, you know, on shakos, things like that, we'll go to shako first. I'm going to be using brown on this one. Uh, let's see if we can... That's, that's the brown that I'm looking at. It's really quite thin. Um, and that's because, obviously because you're using brown onto black, I don't want a nice big bold uh, stripe, you know, highlighting as we all do across the shakos. I want it to be a bit more, a bit more subtle. And if that means I've got to do a couple of, couple of goes at it, sometimes you don't need to because that, that bit of brown is enough to pick up the, the brown and that that you've got in the, in the black and if you go overboard don't worry all, all you need to do is water some black some black paint down and work back over that area again you can do swirls around the top of the shako, you can do lines, you can just highlight the very edge like I'm doing here. Now we'll go down onto the, the leather peak. Again this is, I might do slightly, you know, if it's my, the figures that I'm, I'm painting, whether I'm painting them to sell or painting them for other people, or the very occasion that I get to paint a figure for myself. Um, I might do things very slightly differently, but this is, I just thought this would be a good figure to give somebody who either has not painted a lot of figures, um, or historicals anyway, you know, just somebody who, who might want to, to look at uh, a basic figure and, and what you can do with it. So, I don't know if that's really showing through, but it gives that Shako a beat up, worn look. Again, it won't be to everybody's tastes. And we won't be doing any other, I might do um, a, a bluey gray mix around the edge of the uh, the peak. Um, just to show it's a, you know, and, and maybe in areas on the Shako, but because we've got that brown there, it would only be probably on the leather. Um, we're going to do that now. We're going to do the same colour, the same um, camo brown um, that we used in the black, uh, which has been used. I can't remember if I've said it on the highlight. Uh, this one's going to just be on the top of the cartridge box. All the high surfaces where they get a lot of wear. But we will be picking this out with some scratches and that as well. So. Let me just get the water in there before it dries on my brush. So, hang on, guys. Let me. Get you. Right, guys. One battery change later, and you just know that I'm not going to have enough battery to get to the end of this uh, this tutorial. Right, where are we? Focus. Get back in focus. Literally. Right. Hang on a second. Right. So we've uh, we've highlighted our cartridge box with the first highlight of German camo, medium brown. Um, I'm just going to do the boots. Again, there's not a lot showing. You know, it's, you don't have to go to town on it, but they're there. We've painted them black already, so why not? Why not highlight them? We're now going on to our deep sea dark deep sea deep sea blue dark sea blue. Just mix it up again, is it been on a palette a minute or two? Separating. Right. Our dark sea blue. Uh, let's start where we should do, which is the backpack. Um, we don't want it in the recesses where these uh, straps are. We want them in the middle, so as if it's been pushed out slightly at the edges. So we don't want, as it's a highlight, we don't want it in the, de the deep, deepest, darkest areas um, because we wouldn't really see the, the colour change there. 
Again, you can do a second. This is such thin paint that it, it and especially in the, in the summertime temperatures, it doesn't take long to dry out. Um, and again, we can do it down our sides. Just a tiny bit poking through there. I'm going to put it on the gaiters. can find them. Now we can go a bit heavier on the gaiters to give that, uh, that bluey. Some had bluey black, some had like a, a grey, a dark grey. If you saw my, um, uh, I can't remember which regiment they were, but those red coats that I've painted recently. I do believe we have a, yep, you know, missed completely a bit of green there. I don't think I'll ever paint a figure where I don't miss something. I'll put a bit of base colour in there, it's deep in the shadows. So that's on our gaiters. They will be having a separate highlight with some uh, bluey grey, I believe. We're just going to go over these cuffs, giving those a highlight. Yes, they wouldn't have maybe the the shine of the, the like that tarry look on the on the backpack, but they would have faded like a you know blacky grey. I don't know if you can hear our uh, tatters going round. If you've got any old iron, take it outside. They'll be happy to take it away for you. And we've got a bit of primer showing through there as well. Doing good today. It's always away when you're on camera. And I'll be damned if I'm going to edit any of this out. So bear with me a second while I try and get in there. I believe that's got it. Oh no. Our little, I keep calling it the cat box. But we'll call it that for now. Just on the leading edge there. Right, so our fella is uh, slowly coming to life. Bear with me in a second guys, we'll be back with another highlight. Right guys, um, thanks for bearing with me. I'll stir, stir up another, another load of paint. Right, this is going to be the highlight for the black. Um, now this is how I roll, you can obviously choose loads of highlights for yourself. Uh, we've got here, if we can get it into shot. Hopefully my camera's not moving, it does have a tendency sometimes to do so. Right, uh, black grey, uh, everyone's favourite for doing a simple highlight on black. Uh, you can add that straight if that's where you float your boat. But I often mix in with the black grey, either one or two colours. Uh, we've got field blue, you can see well worn. Uh, is that 70984? And I cannot remember for the life of me because I've completely worn this one out. I have got some spares, but I, I haven't got them with me. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> so it's a light bluey gray anyway. Now they make excellent, uh, uh, they're excellent colors for scratches. So let's try, let's try the lighter one first. Sometimes the lighter one can be a bit too, a bit too painful. Where are we? Let's get in a bit closer, shall we? We hit. Oh, maybe not that close. Right. Now I'm using the Army Painter Insane Detail here. I used to paint with Army Painter all the time because I'm quite heavy on my brushes and I paint obviously tons and tons of metal every week. And uh, so I do tend to go through brushes, but I just for some reason I had a right game trying to get these Army Painter brushes. 
you could buy sets and things but I didn't want a set I just wanted a couple of my favourites um, just make sure again so you don't get the dry tip that uh, you keep your your actual brush hydrated now I don't know if you can see hopefully you can we've put a few scratches there um, you know obviously put as many as you like in a couple of little dots around the edges again you don't want to go you don't want to go uh, mad with it and completely change the but a couple of little crosses the odd little slash mark again it's just it's just bringing up something that would normally be painted black you know with a bit of dark grey on it as a highlight you're just making it stand out slightly you know somebody can pick up your figure and go oh that's nice and we all like a compliment right we'll just do the the edges here of this this backpack so bear with me I don't know if I'm even getting in shot here but again I'm, I'm slightly toning down what I'd normally do for myself um, but I do believe it'll give you guys a, a good handle um, and you know the stuff that you see on my channel uh, you know it'll give you a good handle on what I'm doing Right, bear with me again, I'm not sure what I'm getting in getting in shot here, but this is where we're going for a heavier a heavier highlight and it's mainly because I want to show some uh, differentiation between the the black of the boot and the, the the raised bit of the gaiter if that makes sense there on the gators. And again these bait these gators will be quite pale anyway so you're not going you're not going too far wrong there. The boots again although you've put a brown highlight on there's no worries about putting, I'll just show, there's no worries about putting a a blue-grey highlight all the colours seem to roughly work together but you don't want too much because again you've you've you're trying to you're trying to do the differentiation between the, the gator and the boot but just the odd little speck here and there it's not going to hurt anything Right, we'll do the. We'll go on a darker colour maybe for the the darker grey, and that's got the uh, field blue mixed in with it. And we'll give it a few nicks in this. In this peak here. I mean, you can you can get away with doing the the, the crosses on you know and a few hatching marks on on this as well but right we've got this little cat box down here which I've just almost missed completely <laughs> I think I missed it off the camera as well so hey uh, we'll give us very slight again using the dark blue so it's not too light we'll We'll see what it looks like on the collar. There's not a lot to play with on the collar because we've got to get a we've got to get a piping round and and unless the manufacturers have, have put like a piping, you know, a specific piping 
uh, sculpted it into the collar or the cuffs or whatever um, sometimes there isn't a lot to work with I find that with the 18 mils you know you don't have a lot to, to go on again we're just working on this this strap in here try and pick out the edges again you don't have to pick all the edges out you know it's obviously the, the straps straps move about and curl up and whatever we'll do a bit on the leading edge of these cuffs as well just to give that faded effect and that will help your black stand out from the from the dark green right I'm just debating whether I do put a couple of nicks on the top of the crown of the Chaco we'll see what it looks like again we'll go for the darker colour rather than the lighter one we used do some of the other scratching with again make sure you, you're keeping that uh, tip of the brush hydrated slight under there we're going to do that um, put a dark green on that on that uh, cord in a minute oh, managed to get some of his flesh there wouldn't be me if I didn't again we'll go for a bit of an X marks a spot on the top as well it's probably a bit overkill really but in for a penny and for a pound. Right, we're going to quickly just jump down to this uh, this cord on here, and this is where we get green all over the black. But um, dark green again, purple, dark green, they're all decent for highlighting highlighting black. It doesn't have to be a fantasy figure. Um, you know, it, it really just depends what you what you want to portray on that. You know. As I say, black isn't black, it's it's got so much other colours to it when you look at them. Right, it's got a black it's got the Hanoverian rosette up on his uh, just below his, his plume. And I think I've still got all the black on that, so that's gonna have a, a very tiny metallic uh, like fastening button in the top but we're just going to highlight that now with the same dark you know the, the same uh, mix for that we've used on the other bits so there's our gaiters there's our cartridge box we've still got to do the, um, the blanket and get the black straps on that as well I forgot that but I always leave the blanket till I've done the main haversack. Right, join me in a minute, guys, and I'll just uh, mix up. I'll just mix up the paint for the the great coat. You didn't have to go far for uh, mixing the grey up because uh, I'm going to actually use the same highlight we've just been using. Because um, I often like to give a. We are. Where are we? Here we are. A bluey grey look to the, the base of the the grey coat. Again, uh, another standard. If you just want a bog standard grey, uh, you could start. If you want a really dark creases in there, just do your, your usual uh, black grey, uh, then London grey, then medium grey, and any other grey after that. If you want as a, any more highlights, um, but. I quite like to put like a very a slight uh, light bluey tinge in. It's not really showing up a great deal here, but again, I know it's there because we've just mixed it in as the highlight. Now, I will probably be putting this guy up in one huge video or two parts. Um, I'm not going to. I know some people like to have videos that are really, really short that they can literally see on their phone in two minutes, sitting on a bus or something. But uh, I do do obviously small videos, but not obviously type things like this. And um, 
I don't particularly want to do this in lots of I, th I think people like to see a figure painted from beginning to end where possible rather than you know in in 30 stages and I've tried and I just cannot see how to do voiceovers on my computer um, I am thinking of I don't know what editing suites are out there um, I don't want one that's got its name plastered all over it so I'm quite happy to pay for it as long as it's not a, a huge amount um, so I can actually speed up you know when you see these ones where the brushes are speeding up and uh, you know do the tinkly music and all that stuff if that's what people like but on the other hand you've also got it where you know you say to yourself you know I'm the same if I'm painting or modeling I like to have people's videos on in the background um, you know, it passes the uh, time painting along to a fellow painter or modeling to a modeler you know whatever just bear with me a second right just bear with me a second guys I'm just having a look at this um, figure of right so we're gonna the uh, the the actual while that dries the actual horn here we're going to do as a as a horn <laughs> funny enough um, it really depends on what colors you uh, you want to use now the one I've got here is quite light I want it as a warm color I'm just thinking no let's just get these colors out of the way because so I've got a building up building up bottles here like there's no tomorrow I think I wasn't massively happy with the, the figure that I've actually got there as in the, the colour that I'd used on the horn so I'm just wondering if we go a bit darker now this is uh, <laughs> I'm going to use this so I'm just while the blankets drying off rather than use the hairdryer I'm, I'm just going to put a base layer on the the horn now a, a while ago um, I sent off for some medium grey and uh, this is what uh, was sent me you, you've got to wonder sometimes when they put that you know it shows how people switch off you know at the shop you know when they're uh, you know when they're putting an order together I mean yes it says medium grey on the uh, on the bottle but there must be some cock up in the factory <laughs> Is that a medium grey? But it's a cracking colour. I don't know what it is, but it's a really nice colour. Um, but yeah, you know, whoever uh, whoever got that out the out the, the you know whatever to fill the order. But it is a great colour for um, like Russian great coats and things like that. So it is a graph, but you know, it might <laughs> maybe that is some. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to use that as the the base coat. I think it might actually really be the wrong colour. We'll have a we'll have a see first. Where are we? Let's get back into chart gaff. Right, Again, this is slightly thicker. This one's a bit awkward because it's um, the way it's moulded. It's it's obviously up. And, well, I think we'll get the smaller brush because we don't want to completely cover our cartridge box probably have to I always end up touching up cartridge boxes because um, I always overpaint them and I can see a slight bit of primer showing right at the back there as well I'm doing a great job on this uh, <laughs> tutorial how to leave primer all over your fingers so let me just get some uh, see again that's the joy of the the wet palette everything's everything's there it's um you know it's as as the paint's as usable as it was when we started and this is all being done in real time you know i'm not uh, i'm not i'm going away from my tea and coming back well not yet anyway i can see the battery starting to fade now so uh, i'll run out of battery completely and that'll be two batteries used up right so what we're going to then go to is get to that other highlight which had the lighter the lighter horizon blue I think it might be horizon blue that one I couldn't uh, work out and it'll give us that uh, 
uh, bluey grey look he says hopefully we'll still need a being a war games figure we're going to need a, a lighter a lighter highlight on there to pick up the the rolls of the fabric yeah we'll go up there with a, a medium grey I think so let me just uh, We'll do a highlight of where are we? Here we go. 70870 medium C grey. This might be a tad light actually, but we can mix some of the original colour of our last highlight into it if we if we think so. Second, guys, I've uh, just dabbed my fingers straight through my wet palette. <laughs> Nearly completely wrecked this entire video with uh, paint everywhere. Right, let's get back to business. Let's try again. Bearing in mind as well, when you've got when your paint looks overly light, don't panic straight away if you're a new person to the to painting. Painting the the paint will more often than not darken as it dries, which still might leave you with a light colour, but just hang fire a couple of minutes and let the let the paint dry off. See that's not too bad for me actually, that's uh, that's dulling down quite nicely. So bear with me one moment. Now we've got everybody turning up with their boom boxes and goodness knows what else. Oh, and they can use a horn as well. They'll go far in life. Oh, this is some pain from for somebody as a we've got an alarm going driving down the street. Blanket roll. So right, I thought I'd. Sometimes it happens. You, know, you you almost do stuff by by reflex as you're painting, and you go straight to a painting your in your wet palette or you know whatever palette you happen to go, and it's not the right colour. And the times I've gone dabbing on, not concentrating and dabbing the wrong blooming colour on. Right, that doesn't look too bad. Now what we're going to do now, while I'm thinking about it, is on this white bread bag, we've got some darker grey here, doesn't really matter what colour it is as long as it's a fairly dark colour. And we'll just dot these buttons here on the bag itself. Because I'm going to use the same colour on the base of this um, powder horn. And it'll just do a backing for when we actually put the metallics in. a bit overkill there but we can tidy that up in a bit and actually I didn't do these tufts as well did I that's something else I've got to look at but we'll cross one bridge at a time so let's get some let's get some darker colour on this lid of this cartridge box That's our. That's just our backing colour for when we do get round to the metallics. Right, before we go any farther, let me just consult this other figure. We've got a bit of black on the uh, the bayonet scabbard. We just see. And these tufts are definitely black as well. Just make sure they weren't dark green. Are they dark green or are they black? Can't tell me on paintwork. Hang on a minute, guys. Now the black, I believe. They should be black. Sometimes you, you know the answer and you still question yourself. I 
So, where are we? We can have a go on these tufts. I'm using the brown black mix here, but it, there's so little on show, um, it, it wouldn't really matter if you pure black or any other type of black for that matter. everywhere but slightly wetter because it's um obviously it's sculpted with the uh, tufted wool so there's a few deep recesses and we'll also while we're here I don't know if we've got enough sp spare paint but it doesn't matter I mean this is quite Quite a thin mix, but it just give us a backing uh, for our uh, metallic. Trying to think one step or two steps ahead of yourself and don't do the basics. Uh, it would help if we actually did the, ba <laughs> the backing colour to the to the metallic on the uh, any other metallic for that matter on the on the barrel of the rifle. As I say, it's only a, it's only a backing. It's very light grey. It's not particularly great to be honest with you, but it's. Uh, Just covers up any any little chinks, you know. It gives a. You can obviously highlight. When I say highlight, I don't mean highlight. <laughs> highlight. What I mean is, if you if you put a backing colour to a metallic, you obviously change that shade of the metallic slightly. So you know, if it's brass, bronze, you know, whatever, whatever colour. If you put a, a backing onto it, you'll get a slightly different colour. I'm even using the, the lighter highlight now just to get a bit of backing in there. Right, so I do believe, I don't, let's just have a look at that, that great coat roll. I don't really fancy doing anything more to that apart from, which is staring us in the face, these uh, leather straps, so let's get those this is where sometimes I go, it all goes a bit pear shaped and I have to get the grey out again and and tidy up the strapping. And so the one problem I've got with the camera at the moment, it's not like it's over my shoulder, it's it's in front of me and pointing down, which is good, but it, it knocks out some of my painting lamp. And I can't get the lamp any lower, so I'm, I'm painting, if not in the dark, but I'm painting dark colours and uh, they're a bit harder to see than normal. Don't help that I'm an old fart now. I've even got my reading glasses on these days. Or as they're called in the UK, a readers. Uh, oh yeah, let's do that bit of a, let's do a bit of that um, bayonet frog. Scabbard, I should say, and the I do believe that's a black turn back. I've painted that without referencing this other figure, <laughs> so who's actually his turn backs are actually covered up. <laughs> so we're going to go with we're going to say it's a black turn back. Um, I'll go and reference some of my other figures in the box just to make sure, but uh, when I turn the video camera off in a second, but. Uh, <laughs> We'll just take it, take it for now that it is. 
Right guys, bear me one moment, we'll just reference that other figure and uh, I need to choose some browns anyway, so I'll be back in a moment.